So I understand you've been trying to fight the Empire on your own. I had some help from a few friends. And where are they now? Gone. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Well, you're nothing if not brave, Cal. And from what Seer tells me, willing to put your life on the line for those you love. Just remember, the Empire will twist our actions, however noble, to serve their aims. I remember that, Master Cordova. How did you and the Anchorites end up building this archive? Well, we began our work in the holy city of Nijeda, preserving whatever we could find of the Jedi tradition. Sounds like a dangerous place to collect outlawed teachings. Too dangerous. After one too many close calls with the Empire, I convinced the Narcus to relocate here. We found this abandoned monastery. And set about building everything you see. I can't believe you did all this in only a couple of years. Well, it's been hard work, but once I understood my calling, I had to answer it. That you did. It hurt when you left. Felt like you quit on us in the middle of a fight. I know. But you were trying to restore the order. Rebuild what was lost. The fight was never your goal. Are you so sure it's yours? We'll talk later. I'm good, Cal. Hey, Cal! Hold on. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want No need. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Stay still. Gotta start somewhere. There you go. Not bad, Jedi. So, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. Right. My mistake. You're really giving it to that dummy. Cal does not like stormtroopers. Impressive. I think you got it. Nice seeing you again, Marin. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. I can't believe Master Cordova is really here. All that time following in his footsteps. I have enjoyed getting to know him. 
I've never met a Jedi with a better sense of humor. You've only met me and Seer. That's right. I am staying here for now. This is a smart operation Seer's put together. Why do you say that? All this rock? Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the Anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. <laughs> yeah, you can see how Seer's managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck, keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. You two have that in common. Let's catch up later. Check up on Monk. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. That right? Yeah. Working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush hush stuff. So keep it in the family. Understood. It was nice to see everyone again. Yeah, it really was. So. Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You ever been there? Once. Used to be a settlement. Now it's just a bunch of crumbling stone spires and creepy ruins. Grab some seat, Cal. Do what you gotta do. Master Cordova's research shows an abandoned settlement past the east side of the valley. Let's go check it out. Anything about the High Republic residences on Kobo? Oh, when I first got here, I did a little exploring of my own. I went into a place, and then I heard creepy voices, and I got out of there in a hurry. I'll let you know if I hear any voices, Grace. Wise guys. Not now, Cal. I'm pretty sure Monk reorganized my entire spice rack. But I don't know exactly what he changed. But I don't hate it. Ha! Huh. Could he actually know what he's doing? After being back on the Manus, this saloon is looking filthy by comparison. Maybe some cleaning will help. I need a second. Hey, 
Got a sec? Watch yourself around the stone spires, Cal. What'd you hear? Apparently the Raider base isn't too far from there. Thanks for the warning. When Kobo's moon was shattered, the Republic settlement collapsed, leaving those spires. That place isn't just an old ruin. It's a tomb. Don't forget about that shattered moon. Cordova seems to think it was important. Good call. Might just be Grease's stew talking, but this place is beginning to grow on me. Hey, Cal. Good to see you. Someone really should teach those raiders a lesson. What about you, old boy? Me? No, I, I would. I would. But I'm, I'm busy, okay? You don't look busy. I'm thinking. About what? Living longer. Ever pick up any good tips from bartending? For starters, every client has a tell. What's my tell? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a tell. Uh, fine. So what's your tell? My incurable honesty. Hey, sport, can't chat now. Keeping an eye on those two treasure hunters who just showed up. Remember to relax every now and then, will you? Too much tension in the coils is bad for the joints, if you catch my drift. Private table. All right, then. Whoa, easy, Grok. Sorry about my friend here. He's just a little guarded. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Name's Dana. You might say my partner and I have a talent for turning opportunity into profit. I'm Cal. This is BD. Noisy little thing. We're thinking of heading to Dredger Gorge. Ever been? Once or twice. I'd be careful out there. That's gang turf. Gang turf? Grok! I'm sure it ain't that bad. The hell I'm risking my neck on gang turf. <laughs> hey, it was great meeting you, Cal. Got some business to discuss with my old pal here. <laughs> Come on, BD. What? So how'd you two meet anyway? I'll start with this Merc crew I joined. Grok had been recruited a few... few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up mm. dead or imprisoned. What the car, Grok? I was telling it. Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh -uh. Point is, Rock and I realize that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. Come back later, yeah? Monk, you back there? Good to see you, Cal. It was good to see you. So why don't you go down? You know why, man. My leg's no good. That accident was six stinking years ago. And I haven't walked straight since. Uh, you seem fine. What are you, a med droid? Listen, I got it all worked out. I run the scans, you snatch the score. So you in, or what? I'm thinking. Great, great. You think. You just go right ahead and think. Mm. Perceptive. Also not as dumb as I first thought. Thanks. Go on now. I'm busy. You ever leave this booth? Thinking about it. Wouldn't hold your breath, though. So what'd you do before you came here? I used to perform in a medicine show. I was required to dress in garish outfits and read fortunes while others would scam the audience. That sounds a little demeaning. Yes, but the experiences we carry always have a use, Sojourner. When I arrived on Kobo, 
I noticed a charlatan trying to swindle someone with fool's prior right. How'd you know? He wore long sleeves in the heat. Sleight of hand, huh? I saw a merchant on Karelia do that. An old trick. Well, I stopped the sale, and Doma has been grateful ever since. And the swindler? Tried the trick on the Raiders, so I hear, and sealed his fate. Sojourner, you smell of smoke and sand. I should take another shower then. Talk to you later, Two Locked. Enjoy the tunes. You know anything about the High Republic settlement off towards the swamps? Well, of course. The whole area was devastated when the moon fell on it. You're heading there, aren't you? Yeah. Need some information from the ruins. Watch your step. Rockfall is a big problem. Unless increasing your friction coefficient is another one of your talents. <laughs> that was a physics joke. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Oh, local legend holds that those ruins are chock full of ghosts. Of course, I would not believe in that kind of thing. But you tell me if you saw one, yeah? You bet. Ever miss the glory days, Cal? Cut and thrust, the rough and tumble. It sounds like every day. Not that it's glorious. Well, I certainly had some glorious years. I'm sure I never told you about the incident over at Munalinst. Don't think you did. I was personally escorting a shipment of, let's call it a sensitive luxury product. Unfortunately, we were costed by a customs longship. The fence had failed to update our transponder codes and our vessel was marked. Well, Bush comes to shove and we were boarded. I've got three customs officers waving blasters under my nose, so what do I do? I throw on the waterworks. Oh, Cal, you cannot imagine. I'm swearing up and down about everything from past marriages to lower back pain. Almost work, too. One pesky officer decided to kick open a shipping container full of the slightly incriminating powder. Guess the jig was up. No, oh, Cal, 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 you are looking at a professional. I told them that they were looking at the ashes of a thousand ritually cremated Sereno war heroes. And by the stars, they bought it. The inspectors actually bought it. That, Cal, is why I'm here instead of rotting in a Munalinst work camp. Talk later, hmm? Cow on! Hey, Scuba. How's the water? Ah, oh, fine. I just wanted to thank you for lending me your tank. Plenty more space for plenty more fishes, though. Let's keep them all spinning, eh? Oh, Cal, it's delightful to see you fully intact. Holding up okay? Fine, thanks. It's not the first time this frontier has been terrorized by marauders, you know. But once more, the noble Jedi Knights rise to the occasion. I appreciate the thought, see, but we should watch the whole noble knight stuff. Yes, uh, of course. Good luck tracking down those speeds, and please, do let me know if you find anything. Stay safe. Keep an eye out for more raiders. Oh, I will. May the Force be with you, Cal. How glad I am to share with a friend. Cal, I've got a question for an accomplished warrior like yourself. Say your enemies are closing in fast with blasters drawn and murder in their eyes. Uh, okay. What do you do? 
I focus on the moment and trust my training. Overthinking what will happen can make you freeze up. Yeah, that makes sense. But the most important thing is to know what you're fighting for. My life? And that's a start. I wish I could be a fearless warrior like you. But I can't, so I'm glad you're around. Hey, Zig, what's going on? Enjoying the view. Not often we get this much of a crowd at Pylos. Hey there. Welcome, welcome! Why not step up and try your hand at Hollow Tactics? The game of sages and warriors alike. Ah, our savior returns. Let me make a proper introduction. I am Bima Ook, and this is my associate, Talimu. As you can see, we have set up the game of Hollow Tactics here in Pailoon Saloon. I'm Cal. Glad you made it back safe. I'd say the same to you, but it seems there is no doubt that you can handle yourself. I see you have a companion droid. They can add to your Hollow Tactics deck by scanning combatants. Uh, got it. The more scans BD collects, the more options I'll have in the game. Exactly. Of course, there is nothing stopping you from playing right now. Now, here's the question. Do you have... Brilliant gambit. Advance! 
Now that's a hollow kill! Kestis has got to be contemplating his choices after that! Wait, what do you mean there's no actual credits involved? So, you think you can take on old Grease? Mistress. Wait, what do you mean there's no actual credits involved? Come back soon! There are more battles to fight! I know things are pretty tough right now, but think about the old days. Remember that scrape on Dathomir, Kashyyyk? That was a close call, and now it's even more dangerous. I wonder what it'll be like on the other side of all this, you know? Assuming we live through it. I'll be here, Cal. Seems like the Raider problem here is getting worse on the daily. They've got a new leader. No surprise they're getting bolder. Well, I guess that's why they call it hazard pay. Not much to be done, is there? Talk like that's gonna get us both killed. Oh, yeah? Well, let's get his take. What do you propose we do, Cal? You should avoid the Raiders. Scrapping is dangerous, but they're worse. Kid's right, Dana. No more jobs on gang turf. Too risky with them Raiders. Ha! <laughs> I ain't gonna be intimidated by a few goons with attitude. This is just what we scrappers do. We grab anything that looks valuable. And hope it isn't load-bearing. Yeah, I get it. But you're underestimating the Raiders. Due respect, we've made it this far. And there's no way I'm quitting. We're... <laughs> right. No way we're quitting now. How you doing? Hey, we're thinking of plugging fresh energy cores into the dams at Dredger Gorge. 
See if we can get him working again. Not a bad idea. Where'd you learn to do that? Old friend of ours. Top-notch engineer. Had a winning smile, too. That he did. Good friend to have around. You'd think. The guy shorted us on our cut after a big take. So, Grok may have left an anonymous tip with the authorities. <laughs> yeah. Is this how you treat all your friends? Don't you mind, Cal. Real friends like you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah. See you when I see you. The Bedlam Raiders have been awfully quiet. It's striking up much less trouble than usual. That's the good news. And the bad news? Rumor has it they're lining up behind a new leader. Know anything about that? Dagon Gera. Ravis serves him. Huh. Figures. Cubba just can't catch a break. Watch yourself out there. You do the same, Mosey. Looks like I've met your whole crew, Cal. The old crew, that is. <laughs> Seemed like there was some tension between you and Seer, huh? It's always a little strange seeing someone after being apart for years. Hmm. I don't have too many people like that in my life. That probably says more about me than you. Oh, yeah? Uh, it's just me and Kata. And that's about as much as I can handle these days. The more people in your life, the more you can lose. You know? Keep an eye out for the Empire. A lot of prospectors around here. Have you ever tried your hand at mining prior, right? Once. I found it enlightening. Some prospectors invited me to join them on an expedition. We descended to the mines, but when my back was turned, they fled. They ditched you? Yes. Alone, I calmly walked through the darkness, trusting my intuition. I found another exit. The prospectors? Dead. Morocco attack. If I had chased them, I would have perished too. Let this be the lesson. Always go your own way. Now is not the time to speak. We have some tombs, but there's gotta be so much left. Seeing these High Republic ruins with my own eyes. How do you go back to the Academy after that? Not something I expected to hear from a historian. I didn't expect it either. Originally, I couldn't wait to wall myself into a library. Why visit one dig site when you could read about 30, right? So what made you decide to leave? It is hard to describe, but the more I learned, the more I wanted to get my hands dirty and live it. Not just read about it on a calf-stained terminal, you know? Hey. Seeing these battle droids about takes one back, doesn't it? Maybe a bit. Oh, the Clone Wars. Those were the good years. I've never heard anyone say that before, Moran. Oh, sure. A separatist secession backed by tax-loathing free marketeers begins. Just as I'm establishing a profitable extrajudicial shipping operation, they paired like wine and flat cakes. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Apologies, I'm being insensitive. You probably fought in the Clone Wars as a child soldier, right? No, not exactly. Well, I suppose it's all over now, one way or another. Another time. skills do you need to be a good bartender? All the usual, multitasking, a good memory, the gift of the gab, not to mention the mixology itself. You see, the better the drinks, the happier the clientele, which means, of course, the more they talk. And the more they talk, the more I learn about what makes them tick. Sounds a little... Manipulative, I suppose. But I'm only picking up what they're freely putting down.
Hey there. How'd you get mixed up with the Bedlam Raiders? Whoa, well, I had a drink from Muck. Then another, then another, then another, then... Right. I stumbled outside and sort of confused one of the big raiders with a do-back. Don't tell me you try to mount him. Okay, but if I don't, that's the end of the story. I can see why the raiders try to kill you. Oh, they've got plenty of reasons. Hi, cow. You asked how life was different in my day. For one, I believe we were more charitable to one another. Yeah, the Empire has everyone so afraid they just look out for themselves. What was it like back then? Ah, uh, once I was running an errand for Master Cree, very time-sensitive business. I moved with such haste, I blew off my motivator. I was perfectly aware and completely immobile. Most embarrassing. How'd you get moving again? By chance, a friendly bystander diagnosed my predicament and graciously installed a replacement. That's generous. Out here, they'd probably scrap you for parts. How'd you repay them? I didn't. I never saw him again, but weeks later, I was able to help someone else. A chain of kindness kept the Republic going. For a while. Not now, Cal. You're our 
We should be getting pretty close. I don't see anything like a settlement, though. That's the way through. Let's do it. Yeah, let's keep our distance this time. Nice job, BD. Great find.
This place is in ruins. Scuffer picked up your trail outside the outpost. Cal. Sounds like you've been watching us. Oh, we've all been watching, Cal. Not every newcomer introduces themselves by taking down one of Ravis's boys, which, by the way, nice touch. Love a big entrance. Thanks. So what do you want? <sighs> what I want, Cal, is to reward you for every one of these that you take down. Not the only one who came to Kobo for a little peace and quiet. Take these off, bounty hunters, and I'll trade you something nice. So he was Haxian Brute. More bound to be on the way. Exactly. Lucky for you. I've got eyes and ears about. Drop by the saloon, and I'll help you get a jump on those hunters. All right. I'll think it over. Everybody's got rockets except me. This is a good find. Come on, buddy. We still gotta find Dagon's retreat. So you didn't feel like helping me out there? 
for free. I don't think so. Pretty smooth moves back there. Thanks. You might make a decent bounty hunter. Still here? What are you looking for? I'm not telling a bounty hunter. Retired bounty hunter, I said. But suit yourself. I wouldn't tell you either. Feel the planet and everything connected. Then reach out. I think I... I there! I felt it! Just so. Very good, Parawan. this piece of junk work. Maybe I'll just smash this stupid thing apart. Let's go, BD. Let's keep going. <laughs> 